So hey guys, today I am going to be doing my April favourites slash kind of um, kind of missed the April favourites. Is it April favourites? It's kind of still April for April favourites time. I might be able to get away with it. But yeah, so I have got a whole box of items that I have been loving lately, and um, I just want to say thank you for all the good feedback on my revision videos. I feel like I'm not quite the right in focus and I feel like this background isn't like quite straight either and I don't really like wearing film with black tops on that's just how I'm gonna start this video so yes before I moan about anything else or pick out anything else that I don't like about this video I am going to get straight into it uh, my hair's gone all fluffy oh no it's gone static how do I make it not static that'll have to do it's gone static why is my hair static can you see Who knows? Right, so yes, the first thing I'm going to talk about, I've just used before I started filming this video, it is the Neutrogena Formula Fast Absorbing Hand Cream by Neutro... It's a Norwegian formula, actually, not Neutrogena Formula. It's this hand cream from Neutrogena. I get really dry hands, I hate having hands that aren't, like, super moisturised. It's just, like, ugh, it feels gross, I don't like it. So I always keep this in my school bag or, like, in any of my bags for when I'm at work or anything. Um, and it's just a really, really nice, very, very, um... It's just a really really nice hand cream, very moisturising and um, it's just fast absorbing and I definitely agree with that. I used to have it in this pump thing and I went through that so I just bought one of these because I figured I'm getting into the summer months but um, I'm about halfway through anyway so I'm probably going to have to repurchase that. And um, it's about £4 which is kind of a lot for this sort of a size hand cream, 75ml um, but um, totally worth it, really really love it. Next up, I'll just get the other kind of skin care thing out of the way. It is this La Roche-Posay Efficlar AI. Um, I think it's like an advanced, I don't know what the I stands for. Um, but yeah, it's basically their targeted breakout corrector from the Efficlar range. I have been using this range of skincare for, I want to say like two months now. And um, I'm going to do a video very soon going through like what I like and what I don't like about it. But this is probably my favourite product out of the range at the moment. I really, really love it and it's just a really nice spot treatment. And I've used a lot of it. I'm probably about halfway through, maybe more than that. So loving that this month. The next product I want to talk about is this brush from Real Techniques. This is the, is it just called the, yep, yeah, just the blush brush. This I feel has revolutionised my blush application. I have never found blush that easy to apply. I've always found it quite difficult like to get the right placement and not put too much on. But with this blush, this brush, blush is a dream. It's just so much easier, it like, disperses it very nicely on the face, it doesn't just put it in one big clump, like it kind of blends as you're applying it. I feel like I'm a little bit late with this but um, I really really have been enjoying it and I know a lot of people have been raving about this brush for years, I've just never bought it until recently and it's so fluffy and oh, it, feels like, I feel, it feels like I imagine a bunny's tail would feel. Like just just touch the end of it, it's so soft, I love it. Love, love, love that. Um, another kind of cheek product or cheek thing to go on my cheeks I have been using is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in 72A Sunny. This is an old favorite. Um, I never really liked it when I first got it, but recently I've been appreciating it. Uh, it's just like this, it's a matte, I think it's quite orange, kind of orangey toned. Um, so I'm having to like really sit up and I've got a bit of a bad back. So more excuses um yes so i've just been really liking it just to warm up my skin a little bit lately and you don't have to use a lot to get oh i've just put my finger in it yeah you really don't have to use very much to get a nice color um but yeah really really like this if you're looking for a very very affordable matte bronzer definitely check this out it's not really a contour color because it's too orange but definitely for bronzing it's a really really nice color Another powder product I have been loving is this Maybelline Fit Me powder. I have it in shade 120, which I feel like is a really good shade for me. I could probably go like five, like one shade lighter, so 115 or something like that. But I really, really love this. It's very good at keeping me matte. It adds like a little bit of coverage, but not too much that I'm like, ugh, I look like cakey or um, I look like completely flawless and I've only put on like a medium coverage foundation. It's nothing like that. Um, it's really, really nice. Yes, yeah, so I have it in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. Um, it's quite a big box packaging, but I don't mind this as much as I minded the, what was it called? Um, the Rimmel powder that I had a while ago, the 25 hour one, um, because it's quite useful, the packaging. So you open it up and you have a massive pan. This is a nine gram powder. I don't know how much that is relative to this. 
Oh, this one's 9.4, so, but still, for like a face powder, that's quite a bit. Like, I've had some before where there's been much less than that in it. Um, and then you flip it up, and the thing's just fallen out, and you have a really nice big mirror, and you have this nice powder puff. And I don't ever really use these, but it's not like a foamy thing. It's like an actual more like a fabric-y thing. It's like a silky bit there. It's a Maybelline. It's a really, really nice powder puff. And I find it really, really good to just touch up my powder throughout the day. I never use these. So for me to use this is quite a big thing. Only kind of gripe I have with the packaging is I kind of wish the mirror was there and not in there. Because then if I'm like powdering and I'm like, oh, I need some more powder. I have to like flip back and keep, you know, keep flicking between the two. I wish that the mirror was at the in the same bit as the powder so I could just be like powdering and like going back for more and not having to flip between the two sections but it's still a really nice powder I'm not sure on price point I think Maybelline had a deal on at the same like one point because I bought both this and the Fit Me Concealer which is the next product I want to talk about at the same time and I now need the foundation but I really want the Matt and Paulus one but I know you can only get it in America so I need to do a little bit of eBay shopping I think um or I might do one of those um, like ship it to service things or something like that. I'm not really sure, but for one thing I don't think I'll do it. But for you know, if I find a couple of other things I want, then I might do that. So yes, that is that. I've actually got a lot of Fit Me products in this haul. I've just realised um, this isn't a haul. This is a favourites video. I haven't done a favourites in ages, so I'm kind of out of it. Um, yes. So the Fit Me concealer is my next product I want to talk about. This is such a nice concealer. I didn't think the colour was going to be right for me at all at first. I'm just going to reposition. Um, because it was just a bit like orangey toned I want to say um, orangey not even orangey it's like neutral toned like if you look at people's ugh, I don't know how to describe it it's how I imagine someone with neutral skin would have like this kind of a colour it does not look like the right skin right colour for my skin like at all but it just is when it blends out and works with my foundation it works so well and it's a really really nice oh this one says it's a uh, concealer and corrector that would be why it's a little bit yellowy, I guess. Um, but yeah. Love this so much. Um, I have it in the same shade, I believe. I have it in... Is it 120? I can't see where it says the shade. I believe I bought 120, but... Oh no, I bought 10. I bought shade 10. I don't know if they've got the same, like... I don't know if the shades correspond, but I've got 10. So yes. Um, really love this. It also... It just it just lasts so long. I can't remember what I've said about it. It lasts so long. It's a really nice colour. Quite full coverage concealer. I would say um, you can build it up quite well. Like if you blend it right out, obviously it's not full coverage, but it, you can build it up to be quite full coverage. So really, really been loving that. And the final Fit Me product I want to talk about is the Fit Me, is this an anti-shine stick? Anti-shine, yeah, anti-shine stick. I basically use this as a stick foundation. It reminds me very much of the kind of look of like the Make It Forever one and stuff. It's like everyone's hyping about that lately. Um, I actually already have this in shade 120, but this is old. I've had this for like two years. Um, and literally that's all that's left, that little knob on the top. I mean, like I can't use it now without scratching myself on like the after packaging. Um, but I love this as just a really quick touch up or if I'm not wanting like loads of makeup on, I will use a bit of concealer and this and just kind of all over my face. And that is my like go-to look at the moment for going, look. It's my go-to makeup if I've got work or something and I just want to look a little bit more bright and awake and not not have loads of makeup on really minimal effort like just quick done out the door love it it's a really really nice product although I would not recommend you put it all over your face because it can go a bit cakey so just kind of spot you know just do a couple of lines of your face and that is that but the main foundation I have been using at the moment um come on hair I've got hairs all over me molting really bad at the moment with the changing seasons um, so yes, my favourite foundation of the moment has been the Revlon Colour Stay with the new packaging with the pump, which is so much better than the old packaging. Um, I really love this. I'm in shade 150, which looks super, super pale, but um, I've got this on today, so yeah. I really love this. It's not like going to keep... I mean, if you've got like a sort of like slightly oily combination skin... Um, this will keep you matte probably, it won't you know, control your oil, but I have severely oily skin. So I do still get shiny, but you can see I'm still shiny even with wearing this and powdering. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice colour, it's a really nice coverage, really lightweight, easy to wear. I mean, some people have said it's quite heavy, I think it's not too heavy on my skin, I feel like I, put, I don't put loads on. Um, I'm not like worried about like showing my spots and things, like you can quite clearly see I have spots and things, like it's not a big deal for me. Um, but yeah, it says wears up to 24 hours, flaws look, lightweight feel, so yeah, I agree with the lightweight feel, and you can definitely blend this up and uh, 
build this up and make it more of a full coverage look. So yes, there's that. Um, next, something for my eyebrows. I have been using the Maybelline, there's loads of Maybelline. I've been loving Maybelline. I never ever use Maybelline. And then all of a sudden I've like got loads of things from Maybelline. Um, it's the Maybelline, Maybelline Definer Brow. I bought this in America and I believe you can only get it in America. I may be wrong, but I have never seen it in the UK. And it's this little brow pencil with the green packaging and the little brushy bit on the end. And it's just such a good colour for my eyebrows. Um, I use it to just quickly fill in and just like go around. It's normally the top, I just go over the top like line of my eyebrows. Because um, that's where they look a bit patchy because I've got really long eyebrow hairs and I don't know. So it looks like I've got really thick eyebrows but actually they aren't too thick. It's just they're all really long hairs. Um, so yeah, I just kind of draw like along the top, just do a little line and just shape them a little tiny bit and then I go in with some brow gel and like fix it in place but yeah really love this it's a really really nice colour if you've got my kind of eyebrows like sort of blondy browny ashy coloured um definitely recommend this I don't know if you can get it in the UK I know you can get it on eBay because I looked to buy another one the other day because I was like I don't want to use it all up and then not be able to get another one but I've looked and I can buy more I think they were about a fiver on eBay which is kind of a little bit much for an eyebrow pencil I always seem to think but then I don't know, I'd probably pay that. I'd pay way more than that for like a high-end eyebrow product. So yeah, there's that. I've been loving that. Um, I don't know what to talk about next. I could just quickly say on my lips, I meant to say this at the beginning of the video, I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade San Paolo, Paolo, this one. I wouldn't say this is a particular favourite. I really like the colour. I haven't worn this in a while, but the longevity does not, mm, it's not anywhere near as good as the next product I'm going to show you, which is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colours. This, I would say, is like the next stage up from the Soft Matte Lip Creams. They've got some really nice colours. I've only got three at the moment. I've done a whole first impressions video, so if you want more information, head over to that. It's like the last, one of the last videos I uploaded. Um, this, I would say, lasts like half a day, and then you have to reapply, whereas these... The soft matte lip creams, I find myself reapplying like four times a day, like as soon as I do anything like drink or eat, it just wears off. This lasts a bit longer and I really really love this. I have the one in the shade Devotion here because I've worn this quite a few times already this month and um, no, it's just a really pretty shade, the packaging is gorgeous. Only gripe is that they're quite expensive, but then Revlon is in general. I've said gripe like twice in this video, why do I never say that? The only thing I don't like is the price, £8.99 I believe. A little bit too much, but um, I don't know. You just I would just say try and get them on a deal, like three for two, or buy one get one half price, one of those sorts of things, which they do quite a lot actually. So keep your eyes open for that, and if you want to try them out when they're on deal next, pick some up. Um, last makeup product I have is the Kiko Precision Eyeliner. Really loving this still. I mentioned it in my haul, I think, saying I really liked it. Um, it's just a really nice eyeliner. It's different. It's like one of the um, it's like a, like a felty brush and I don't normally like those but for this for some reason this one I just really get on with well and it gives me a nice black defined eyeliner and so yeah not too much money either for that one. The last product I have been absolutely adoring this is the Nail Envy Nail Strengthener in for the sensitive and peeling formula. I have the worst nails for peeling and just breaking the really brittle and all of that jazz and this has helped them so much they grow so much faster I wouldn't say that they have like stopped peeling but I mean I do paint my nails like two three times a week so they're constantly in um, nail varnish remover and stuff I use acetone free nail varnish remover that bit of hair um, for anyone that's gonna say I'll oh, use that instead I really do but this has really been a lifesaver and I would definitely be repurchasing this. I bought this when it was on clearance in Boots for like £9, but um, if I see another, if, if I see it again online, I'm definitely going to pick it up because it's really, really great at making my nails grow faster and just keeping them a little bit stronger. Um, they still peel like crazy and that's kind of a problem I've just accepted now. Um, but I'm going to see if any of you guys have any more tips about peely nails and stopping that from happening, let me know. I do like take supplements and things and just try and fix it but nothing seems to work. So yeah, that was my last product for this month's favourites or this currently loving sort of thing um, that everyone seems to be doing at the moment rather than favourites. Like favourites are like out of fashion now I feel. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Sorry I've been like swaying about a bit, I've got a bit back. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!